the next question in this series is mean and max this question is similar to product and sum question which we have solved earlier so here in this question at first they have told us about mean tool so in mean tool what they have done we'll see it so they have passed simple list and they have converted into numpy array and they have stored it under variable my array and they have used dot mean to find minimum element in array along axis 0 so the minimum element in array along axis 0 is 1 and 0 similarly we have also found mean element along axis 1 and as default the axis will be none so for that the output will be 0 we'll move forward to max tool here also they have found maximum element in an array along axis 0 and 1 and also along axis none we'll see the sample input here in sample input the first line contains n and m which are separated by using space and down there are total n lines so we are taking input n times so we will require for loop whose range will be n so we will move forward to code so at first what we do as usual we will import numpy as np and down we will take input of n and m and first we will convert them into integer by using map function input dot split and now we will be using for loop for iteration and the range will be n for range n okay so now we'll take input of all this list one by one and we'll store it under different list list and again we are mapping it because we want integer input dot split okay so now we'll require list so we'll first initialize the list list one and now we'll append in list one using append function dot append and inside that we'll put l as a parameter and down we'll convert this list into numpy array np dot array and we'll pass list one as a parameter okay so that's it and down what we have to do we have to print uh, first we have to minimum along axis one and then we have to print max so fill first we'll write max here I will show you print np dot max and inside that we will write np dot min and what we have to pass we have to pass array numpy array as a parameter and we have to assign axis to 1 so what will happen here uh, this the inner bracket will get first executed that is this minimum along axis 1 and after that after this bracket the outer bracket will get executed which is maximum we'll check the output yeah it is running for all test cases the solution for all other questions included in this series are available on my channel and if you have any query let me know in the comment section given below and also thank you guys for watching this video